three. Audio's cooking. We are back from the run. There it is on your screen. Hope you're having a great uh, Thursday, I do believe. All right, hard days hard is what I called it on Strava. Easy days easy. It's just how I train. A bopper. It's, uh, it's nice to be back in the bopping category, but necessarily, meaning I'm a hurting unit, meaning I have to bop along, all right? It feels good, 15 miles in the books. And if you don't see, I wanna make a note, if you don't see a shoe selected, the default is barefoot. I'm never barefoot. That would be fun though, someday. Uh, I'll, I'll run around soccer fields barefoot. But the reason I don't select a shoe is because the shoe is under embargo. Like right now, I have them on my feet and I'm not supposed to talk about them. I'm not supposed to show you pictures. So that is why I don't select a shoe on Strava. Just wanted to clarify that. There you go, uh, demoreglobalrunning.com, firing it up. Some people like to watch videos, some people like to watch movies, some people like to watch documentaries, some people like to read books, some people like to read magazines and newspapers, some people like to read running shoe reviews. All right, Endorphin Elite, Sockety Endorphin Elite. It will be live tomorrow morning on the website. Go check it out, demoreglobalrunning.com. It's linked below. It's blowing up, the site's taking off. Thank you for checking it out. And lots of running shoe reviews happening there as well. Um, okay, annual vlogs every single year. I make, I, there's probably 30 vlogs I make every single year. For example, our running goals for the new year, uh, reviewing our running goals from the year, um, all sorts of, well, last year I made one three months ago. And well, I actually, I said this. 2020 to 2030, or I guess in 10 years from now, 2032. What will we, what, it's, it, it blows my mind to just even think, to even think about what are we gonna be putting on our feet to go out for a run in a decade from now compared to what we were putting on our feet to go out for a run in 2012. That's right, eight trends that I noticed in running shoe design in 2022. And I'm, I'm shocked we haven't done this before, but why not do running shoe predictions for the new year? So we should have done this maybe like three weeks ago, right at the beginning of January, but never uh, better late than never. So we're gonna do it today. Uh, running shoe trends, actually question of the day. What are your top, what is your top running shoe prediction for the design of running shoes in 2023? If you wanna do one for road, one for trail, that would be great. I'm gonna do three for road, three for trail, okay? And speaking of which, that comment of the day, it got me thinking about this. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. He says, not a new trend, but definitely trending upward and something I see more shoe brands adopting in the future. The company's partnering with running shoe brands providing rubber for their custom outsoles. Skechers and Goodyear, Adidas and Continental, Under Armour and Mizuno with Michelin. I think it's awesome, I think it's so cool, I think it's a great collaboration. Anyway, um, Jeffrey, it's right on track for what we're talking about today, okay? So running shoe predictions, uh, so we will review what we're gonna do. It'll be a little contest, but basically in December 2023, so 11 months from now, I will find this vlog and I will go down in the comments and I will find all of your comments and I'll be like, okay, uh, Samuel said this, uh, Blake said this, uh, Matthew said this, Christina said this, and we'll see if our predictions come true for running shoe design trends that we're noticing and picking up on in 2023. All right, so it's gonna be fun. Here we go, let's dive in. Quick and easy, actually. Road, here we go. Road first, or should we do, tra oh, we'll do road first. All right, number one, forked carbon fiber plates, meaning the carbon fiber plates will not uh, run from uh, toe to heel in one continuous plate, meaning uh, think of a fork, you know, that you eat food with, there's slats in the carbon, in the fork, there will be slats in the carbon fiber underneath your forefoot. It's already happening, okay? So uh, forked carbon fiber plates, and think of the rods that Adidas uses for their uh, super shoes, for their carbon fiber rod shoes. Think of that, but a little different for carbon fiber plates with probably four slats, one for each metatarsal, and what happens, and yes, this is what they did for the Saucony Endorphin Elite. What happens is that it allows your uh, foot to be a little more dynamic through the foot strike because it's not quite as rigid 
under the four foot. All right, so that's prediction number one for me. Prediction number two. Oh, I should have grabbed it. Where actually there? Oh, it's not there. More weather resistant uppers, meaning uh, GTX. And it's already been happening. You know, I think of Nike has been doing it for a long time. But man, with Saucony taking, for example, the Endorphin Speed 3, such a popular shoe, and then putting their, what they call their Run Shield Upper onto that shoe. Imagine the Rebel uh, Weather Resistant, or the Mach 5, or the New Balance 1080 V12, or the New Balance Super Comp Trainer, or, or, oh, so many people wanted the Tempest, okay? A stability shoe with, um, uh, a stability shoe with, a water, I predict that's gonna actually happen for the Tempest in 2023. So I predict that's my prediction number two for the roads, a lot more water resistant uppers for the winter training. Cause guess what? We wanna turn the doorknob. We wanna get our work in through the winter. We don't wanna just throw our, sh you know, throw our uh, fitness out the window through the winter month. We wanna go for it. So I don't know, I think companies, there's a niche there for really, really, really popular Nova Blast. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I digressed. And speaking of the Tempest, I think this shoe really took a big step forward for stability trainers out there. Raise, raise your comments, <laughs> raise your comment, raise your hand in the comments if you're a stability trainer. I predict my third and final prediction for road running shoes is more companies adopting dual density, uh, basically, yeah, dual density stability features through their midsole, okay? Like the Tempest, meaning it's not a traditional shank or roll bar or uh, really, really hard, rigid rubber on the outsole. Rather, uh, what they did is they used two different densities through the midsole to help create a more stable ride for runners around the world. So that's my third and final prediction for road shoes in 2023. We shall see if they come true. Moving on to the trails, here we go. Deeper lugs for muddier conditions. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because the Peregrine 13 and the Peregrine 13 ST, whoa, serious, serious lugs. Speed Cross 6, oh, nope, that, not that one. There it is, Speed Cross 6 also happening, like just like biting the mountain. I think more and more companies are gonna realize that sometimes runners wanna really niche down, trail runners, and bite the mountain. They wanna run in bad conditions, when it's muddy, when it's raining, when the snow is melting, when whatever the case may be. So I predict that more companies are gonna integrate aggressive lug patterns in 2023. All right, that's prediction number one for the trails. Prediction number two, the BOA. Watch out for the BOA constrictor. No, the BOA uh, system for lacing. Watch out, watch out. I think the BOAs are gonna take over in 20, okay, maybe not take over, but I think you're gonna see many, many more trail shoes adopt a BOA lacing system. All right, maybe a little bit of a bold prediction, but that's my second one there for you. And last but not least, where is it? Light base, I believe it's on the Torrent 3. Uh, da, 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 yeah, this is, a, yeah, light base. So trying to keep trail shoes lighter under step. I love it. Thank you for striving for that. Running shoe companies, but what Hoka has done in the last 12 to 18 months in their design department is not plaster the entire outsole with rubber uh, and with what they call their light base construction, where it's, I'll call it gluing the outsole onto the bottom of the shoe. Now we're gonna see on the durability of these light base constructions, but I think it is, a, like it's, it's basically the opposite of what Solomon is doing in this Speed Cross 6, just so you know, which of course this shoe is heavier. Um, so I predict that in 2023, my third and final prediction, that light base outsoles uh, construction is going to take off a little bit just to try and help keep shoes nimble under step in the new year. All right, that is it, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Comment of the day, question of the day. You got it. Can't wait. Again, check out DemoreGlobalRunning.com. As many of these shoes are showing up on the site, if you'd like to read and see more details on the specs and technical details of these road and trail running shoes. Love you guys. Onward we go. We'll toss it to, ooh, ooh. oh yeah, the eight trends, of course. Eight trends that I saw in 2022, right there. Onward we go. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.